And what's up guys and girls, JVD Apparel here from MMO-Play.com. I apologize for being away for a short while. I'm just getting over a cold. You might be able to pick that up in this video. It was one wicked cold. What I mean by wicked is it was awful. So let's get started guys. I'm looking at the game Dark Age Wars. Now this game is a free MMO RTS and it is browser based. You can play it in Facebook too, I believe. Um, it is set in the medieval era and it is developed and published by Pixabi. Now, like most of these games, it's going to be between, you know, having economic stability and managing, you know, your military forces because it's all about being the ultimate, the ultimate leader, if you will. All right, we're in the tutorial currently. Now, I'll give you guys a, a little idea of the music. It's a bit loud. In the previous videos, um, people were getting a little upset with the music. I do apologize for that. Um, so, we're just going to mute the music for this. Now, to become self-sufficient, you'll need to start generating your own resources, construct a mine, which is, you know, something that we predict, right? You know, obviously resource generation is important for um, an empire. We can see the resources down here. Also, there is a rate per hour. Based on the amount of buildings that we build, we're going to increase that. So let's go ahead and click this, take a look at the... I don't like how this... Oh, I can move that. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. I didn't expect to move that because it's in the way... <laughs> Uh, all right, so if we hover over um, the particular buildings that we build currently, we see that we have a quarry and a mine. We're supposed to build a mine right now, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Boom. Uh, there's some real-time elements as well. Um, you can see that that took time, but it was instant because it's only level one, so it's no big deal. Uh, beginner tutorial power one, well, the same thing. You can upgrade the lumber. So like most of these games, guys, you can upgrade. What do you get by upgrading? It's actually... It's quite you know clear here they say the bonuses you get 20 foot 20 foot <laughs> 20 foot 24 wood production per hour um, you see the requirements as well um, upgrade to lumber camp level 2 cool all right so that's upgrading it took one second and bam lumber camp level 2 all right what are we on now here this is your food supply the more food supply you have the more units you can train I wonder if that actually represents the population cap or if that's separate and you have to kind of balance the two. That'd be interesting. Uh, okay. Do I have to skip that? Okay, so this is my warehouse. I'm assuming that's where all the goods are stored. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that for tutorial purposes. Boom, boom, ba da boom, ba. <laughs> the king is gaining great competence in you. He has just given you three of his army units. Oh, I got a whole three units. This is a solid RB right here. All right, very well done. Now we can see here, oh, whoops, I did not mean to hit that. I'm supposed to go here to claim my reward from the quest. I do like this style um, in terms of, you know, the HUD, I guess, if you will. Um, the It's not really a scroll. Scroll is kind of over commonly used for, um, especially the medieval era, um, but it does, it does, it's pretty fluent here. All right. So we, we click that, we can see that we got the different quests. Each upgraded building unlocks new features for faster resource regeneration and stronger army units. So there's going to be a lot of incentive. These kind of games have a ton of incentive in terms of, you know, continuing forward. Um, you know, it. I don't. I'm, I, I like to look and see if it's, you know, a pay to win game. But generally they're not. Most people don't, you know, pay all out. Click on your quarry to upgrade it. Oh yes, so you know it's really the basics um, to this kind of genre. Um, we see it all the time, you know. Right off the bat, they show you how to upgrade. You know, resource getting resource trickles and stuff. You've warded off the incoming attack in a valiant victory. The king is pleased. Has rewarded you with two days of the former and decreased build times. Oh, cool. Got a reward for that. Um, so in battles, we can take a look at the actual battle report itself. I want to see if there's any animations in terms of... No. So it doesn't appear that there's any animations, guys, in terms of battles. It'll simply tell you um, the statistics, which, you know, some people are okay with. Some people like to see the animations. Um, like, let's say I, you know, if I reference the Stronghold Kingdom series, they do have some animations. But I found that in those kind of games... You know, they're not really necessary. You know, we get into these games just to build the economy and really see us grow. Um, so we can see all the statistics here. My units, enemy units. They had one of each of these guys. Now they're dead. So, pff, no big deal, you know. 
All right, let's move on to the next thing here, guys. My town is a booming, <laughs> a booming town. All right, so now, guys, I'm just simply building a um, farm here because our food shortage, our food shortage, we have a food shortage, apparently. Um, capacity will increase when the farm is constructed, which is now constructed. Um, but da -da -da, double click the territory name to toggle. Okay, so we can also change the name of our territory. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that there. Um, yeah, you know, that, that's kind of really just a common feature. All right, so that's done. Let's see what the last step is for tutorial about two. Open your quests, claim the reward. What is the reward of curiosity? Oh yeah, so we get resources for um, the particular quest that we do. Um, congratulations, you've made it to the third part. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and skip into some action. Okay, so this might not be the action you were looking for, but guys, I just built a barracks and uh, give you guys a, an idea of the units. Um, so when you build a unit, it'll give you a specific build time. That duration can obviously increase or decrease, most likely just decrease, um, based on your tech in your empire. Um, then you have the requirements and resources, also the statistics. Um, and you can see the requirement and how many you have beside that on the right. So we got a decent amount of units, which I like. Heavy infantry, elite militia, um, pikemen, foot knights, crossbowmen, elite pikemen, templar knights, and longbowmen. Templar knights are pretty cool looking here. Rent an additional build slot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and recruit this guy. What does it say? Four minutes? <laughs> I love that sound effect. Big grunt of victory. All right. You can upgrade your mine. All right, guys, we're a little bit ahead now. I've kind of built up a wall. I have military bases and a little bit of tech going now. Um, so my base is building up. Now, this is the world map view, just like most of these games. Um, we can see these are actual other players. Um, now, some there's some statistics that you'll build. Very common. Honor is one of them. Kind of, you know, ranking. You see there is a rank. So if you're looking, you know, to come into it from a um, achievement or leaderboard perspective, you can definitely do that. Now, we can also, um, the way these games work is it's generally grid-based. So you can actually put in the coordinates. So let's say your buddy comes in. You can actually find, um, they, they could just give you their coordinates. You could find exactly where they are. Um, so if we click these now, we see there's the attack and the info option. We're going to open this up here. We can just simply message him. And eventually you guys can actually build your alliances, expand empires, attack various people, and just basically, you know, <laughs> annihilate the enemy. Anyhow, guys and girls, this is the quick first look of Dark Age Wars. This is JP Jesse Pearl here, and it's been an absolute pleasure making this video for you.